Hello, it's Clorinda here, Hub Sports Strategy Strategist at BBD Boom. And in this video, I've got a super cool update to share with you. Um, and this is the conditional dependent properties logic. So if you've used a different CRM, like a, lot, a different CRM in the past, you may have noticed that it was possible in those ones, but it wasn't possible in HubSpot, but now it's possible in HubSpot and that's super great. Um, but I'm actually going to go straight in and show you an example of how to use it just to give you some context behind the value of this update. So I've, I'm going to do con countries and state as an example. So you might, let's say, have a um, sales reps creating a new record. And as part of the qualification metrics, you want to make sure that we know exactly which state and which country that contact is from so you can filter them to the right person or the right team to manage that record. So what you can do with this conditional property logic now is say if a contact is from Australia, um, you will then have a dependent property popped up for the person creating that record to fill in the state of Australia that that contact is in um, and it, it would be a required setup. So let's actually show you what that looks like. So what I've done is I've created two properties custom properties in HubSpot. So the first one was custom country. So it's this one here, second one. And then I've also created one called State Australia. So I'm going to go ahead to the conditional property logic now and create a new conditional logic. And basically, you can choose the controlling and then dependent property. So the controlling would be the country field. So if someone fills the country field with the value of Australia, they would then have to also fill in this state property here. So I'm going to put in state Australia, and I'm going to make that required. So what happens now is if anyone puts in this value in this property, they would be forced to also fill in the relevant state as a part of the answer. So obviously, if someone has put the country as USA, um, we would set this up so that it would display the state USA custom property that you create. So I'm going to go ahead and save that logic now, and let's put this into action. I'm going to go to the contact records, and I'm going to create a new record. Actually, what I'll do is, yeah, I'll create a new record. I'm just going to put my own email in. I might actually already exist, so let's let's have a look. There I am. Okay. So I'm in here, and I am going to go to the custom country property. So let's go to view all properties. I'm going to search for custom country. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and choose Australia now. And as you can see, there's a pop up now that requires me to fill in the actual Australian state. So I'm going to go ahead and say New South Wales, because that's where I used to live. Hit apply. And that's it. That's how it works. So um, yeah, if you've got big subsets of data that you need to require um, dependent properties to be filled in, this would be great for you. I've definitely had clients in the past that required this option. So give that a try. Um, just keep in mind, this is currently in public beta. So make sure Super Admin helps you into this product update first, which you can find in your product updates feature. And then you can go from there. Let me know what you think. Cheers.